Welcome to how to update a customer account that might already exist. I'm going to go over to evergreenrecreation.com. And we're going to go down over here to online registration. Alright, it's going to bring us to our main page for the ActiveNet customer portal. So if we know our customer login on the right hand side here, we're going to click sign in. Alright, we're going to go ahead and enter in the login for Mr. Peter Parker. Verify that we are not a robot. Some traffic lights. Beautiful. Oh, looks like I might have entered the wrong password. Let's try something different. And verify back again. Awesome. Now again, too, if you don't remember your login name or your password, um, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but we'll come back to this page. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Awesome. Great. That worked. All right. So on the right side here, we're going to go to my account. And this is going to be kind of where you have access to a multitude of things. But for this video specifically, we're just going to talk about changing um, some information about your personal account um, and not really dive into the depths of the account activity or other services that we really could get into. Um, we'll put that in a video for a later date. So right now we're going to start with updating our password. So I'm going to click change your password here and you'll see that it already pre-prompted my username whether my username is my actual email for my account or if you chose to go down the path of having just a username um, that's going to show up here so to update our password we're going to go ahead and enter in our current password that we use to log in to enter a new password re-enter that just for reconfirmation and again when you're making your new password we're making sure that it falls in line with these requirements for a password also down here you have the option to make a security question for yourself and then you would go ahead and enter and enter in and answer that you would need to verify in case you wanted to use that option so we're gonna go ahead and click save beautiful okay so we're gonna go into personal information here and we're going to go to the change personal information button here you'll see you have the ability to go ahead and update your name um, if you ever do want to update your address or your birth date you'll actually have to call into one of our centers or reach out to one of the management uh, staff even the front desk staff could actually do it for you but we um, you would need to call into one of the centers in order to get that reset or changed but for right now we're not going to dive into that Again, here you'll see that we have the box clicked if you want to receive um, any exciting information that's coming up about EPRD events and activities or if we need to reach out to you for a program. Um, so here we can update our phone numbers, again, a new email if we want to put that in, and any emergency contacts. If you have another one, you can put that in here also. 
and again you'll see that you can't update your birthday but if you need to change your gender or um, add a medical alert you can do that here save now if you want to add or change any information about a family member um, you can do that here by clicking change information about family slash friends it will bring you to this page so right now peter parker is the only one in his household but if we wanted to add somebody else we would go ahead and just click here it would bring a drop down to essentially add somebody into that same household and you would change this information as need be if they have a different email address or phone number different emergency contact um, you would change all that within here and it would prompt you to enter in a new birthday so just for simplicity and you would just hit submit down here but we're going to go ahead and leave Peter as the only person in his household right now so we're gonna go back to my account and we're gonna go ahead and sign out now and dive into how to recover our login name or our password if we forgot one of those pieces of information so if we lost our or if we forgot our login name we're going to go ahead and click here it's going to ask us for our email make sure that we're putting in the email that's associated with our account because it will let us know that the email is not registered if it doesn't become entered in properly just a confirmation that it's been entered and you'll see too here it's going to remind you to check your junk and spam um, any other folders that this email could be thrown into without being recognized at first so let's go and check out our email and right here in our inbox there it is so when you're looking for your login information what's nice is you won't have to set, you won't have to reset it um, as long as you entered in your email address correctly, it's just going to send you a quick email with your login name for your account. And so that is what I logged in with. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. And we'll go back to the login page. Now, if you forgot your password. We're going to click here. I forgot your password button. Again, we're going to enter in that same email address that's associated with our account. And we're going to hit submit. Hit OK for our confirmation. Back over to our email inbox we'll have another new email from ActiveNet now the email that you got is a temporary password for getting back into your account so if you know your login name you're gonna use this temporary password I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it by hitting control or command C and Going back over here to the login page, entering in my username that we confirmed just a second ago. And I'm going to hit Control V to paste or command if you're on a Mac. And then we're going to verify we are not a robot. And we'll hit login. And you'll see as we immediately were prompted to create a new password. So remember that you need that password from your email in order to reset for a new password. And again here too, this can be a little confusing. Um, your current password at this time is actually the emailed password for the temporary password that you were sent. So make sure you just hit paste there again 
and then you can go ahead and enter in a new password for yourself. Just make sure you enter it in the same here for both boxes. Then we'll go ahead and hit save. And it looks that we entered in our passwords correctly. So now we are back to the main welcome page for the ActiveNet customer portal. I'll go into my account and we are back to where we began. All right, and that is the end of updating your own customer account. And we'll see you next time.